There are many rules we have to stick to when using public transport, aren't they? But in the US right now, it seems making yourself just a bit too comfortable when sitting down could land you in hot water. Marina Portnaya took a ride and picks up the story. There's been a particular spotlight shining on male subway riders in New York City this year. For the first time, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority is asking men to mind the gap. Mind the gap. Leg spreaders, they're the worst. Men, <laughs> bad. His legs are spread so wide, he's taking up two seats. It's called man spreading, and it's rude. In January, the Metropolitan Transit Authority rolled out an ad campaign reminding men to close their legs while seated on public transit. Entire blogs have been created to document the culprits who don't comply. Even actor Tom Hanks was publicly shamed. You're now the face, you're the new face of manspreading. All right, this pisses Is this me off. <laughs> I was accused of manspreading because it looks as though I'm taking up two seats. And hey, internet, you idiot. <laughs> the train was half empty. The train was presumably also not crowded when two Latino men were allegedly arrested for manspreading on May 22nd at 12:11 a.m. According to a report released by the Police Reform Organizing Project, this marks the first time manspreading led to an arrest. We've never heard it referred to as manspreading until last Friday morning in Brooklyn. Prop director Robert Ganji says the NYPD is criminalizing several subway etiquette faux pas as an excuse to fine and arrest people, most of whom, Ganji says, are poor minorities. We think it's driven by the quota system. There's almost no other rational explanation for why the cops would conduct these kind of arrests unless they were under pressure to meet uh, certain numbers, to meet what they call product productivity goals. The activities that uh, uh, poor people of color get arrested for and ticketed for, bike on the sidewalk, jaywalking, begging, uh, open alcohol container, walking between subway cars, have been virtually decriminalized in white communities. According to reports, the NYPD has issued more than 1,400 summonses for manspreading this year. And while the boys in blue are working very hard to contain this serious issue, crime is up. The amount of murders in New York City has increased, according to reports, nearly 13 percent since last year, while the number of shootings is up 7 percent. RT reached out to the NYPD asking for confirmation about the manspreading arrests. We also asked how many people have been arrested for manspreading. So far, the NYPD has not responded. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.